video we will be discussing about mechanics paper 4 m1 2010 may june variant is 41 and the subject code is 9709 number one a car has a mass that is 1150 kg travels up a straight hill inclined at an angle of 1.2 degree to the horizontal so 1.2 degree to the horizontal the the resistance to motion is 975 newton so resistance is 975 newton so as we know that car travels straight up the hill that means resistance acts in the opposite direction to motion thus as the car travels upwards resistance acts backwards that is in this direction find the acceleration so we need to find the value of acceleration for the car at the instant when it is moving at 60 meter per second so we have given the speed we know then the engine is working at the power so we know the power and we know the speed so we can find out the driving force so driving force is equal to power by velocity so we know the driving force driving force minus resistive force minus downward component of weight is equal to mass into acceleration since it is accelerating so after calculating we put the value of r and find the acceleration as 0 0.845 meter per second square in question number two here we have given the question this is related to the graph so we don't need to read this so the acceleration we need to find the acceleration of the tool during the first two seconds so for the first two seconds we need to find the acceleration since it is a velocity time graph so acceleration is the change in velocity by change in time that is 0 0.18 by 2 so the acceleration is 0 0.09 meter per second square then the distance the tool moves forward while cutting so for this graph we can see that from 0 to 8 second the velocity is positive that means it is in positive direction and for 8 to 11 the velocity is negative that means it is moving in opposite direction so we need to find the value of distance not the displacement for the forward motion for, so for the forward motion that means from 0 to 8 second so the distance would be area under the velocity time graph so the area of the trapezium that means half into sum of two parallel sides into height so the distance is 1.08 meter then we need to find the greatest speed of the tool during the returning to the starting position as it returns to the starting position from where it starts that means at this area the machine starts to return to its original position as it returns to its original position that means this distance and this distance are the same since it returns to its starting position from where it starts thus the distance forward is called the distance backward that is 1.08 meter then we need to find this highest velocity that is v so we can calculate the area under the triangle and equate to the distance that is given to find the velocity to find the speed actually since we need to find the greatest speed so this is 0 0.72 meter per second and if it is velocity then just it would be negative 0 0.72 since it is the velocity in opposite direction number three a small ring of mass 0 0.8 kg that means it weight is acting at downwards that is 0 0.8 g is threaded on a rough rod rough rod that means there is an effect of friction that is mu r is fixed horizontally the rod is in equilibrium that means all the forces are zero and it is at rest equilibrium acted by the force of magnitude 7 newton so 7 newton is this force for this 7 newton of force we need to find its horizontal component that is 7 cos 45 and vertical component that is 7 sin 45 then pulling at a, around 45 degree to the horizontal show that the normal component of the contact force so the normal component of the contact force is denoted by r acting on the ring has a magnitude this so normal component of this contact force and since the ring is contact in that with the table so the component contact force would act vertically upwards so we represent the normal component as r we need to find this value of r since we know that the ring is in equilibrium that means all the component of upward force is equal to downward force that means r plus 
vertical component of 7 newton force that is 7 sin 45 is equal to 0 0.8 g so we equate this that is r plus vertical component of weight is equal to its weight r plus vertical component of force vertical component of force is equal to its downward weight so the value of r comes to 3.05 newton this is actually the vertical component of force not the weight and this is the downward weight that is 0 0.8 g the ring is in limiting equilibrium as it mentions about the limiting equilibrium that means the ring about the ring is about to move and since the ring is about to move that means there is an effect of friction that is mu r if it just states that it is in equilibrium that means there is no resistance or mu r is acting but since it is in limiting equilibrium that means it is about to move thus the resistance or the mu r is acting so we need to find the coefficient of friction that is the value of mu between the ring and the rod we have just calculated the value of r so we know the value of r just we need to find the value of mu and since we know that it is in equilib it is in limiting equilibrium limiting that means friction force is acting but it is in equilibrium that means forward force is equal to downward backward force so forward force that is the horizontal component of 7 newton force that is 7 cos 45 is equal to the backward force that is the resistive force and no other force is acting so we equate this and place the value of r to find the value of mu that is 1.62 just 1.62 there is no unit question number 4 coplanar forces of magnitude 200 newton that is this force 370 newton that is this force act at the point o that means these two forces are acting at point o and 160 newton that is this force are acting at point O in the direction shown in the diagram where angle alpha is given where sin alpha is this value and cos alpha is this value so we don't need to calculate this value separately we are given the value of sin alpha and cos alpha so as this force is acting at an angle alpha so we need to first find this horizontal and vertical component of force then that is 250 cos alpha that is horizontal component and the vertical component is 250 sin alpha Calculate the magnitude of the resultant of these three forces. So we need to find the resultant of these three forces. So for each of these forces, we need to first find the vertical to find the resultant force that is the value of R. We need to find the resultant force that is in vertical direction or R V and the resultant force that is in horizontal direction that is R H. And since these are vertical and horizontal component of force, that means this vertical force and suppose this is horizontal force. So resultant force would be this hypotenuse. So we know that the hypotenuse would be root over adjacent square plus root over opposite square. So to find the value of resultant force, we need to first find the vertical component of force that is Rv and we take upward direction as positive. So Rv is equal to 370 that is acting upwards and 250 sin alpha that is acting downwards. So upwards minus downwards we calculate the value of rv in the upward direction as positive value that is 300 newton then rh we take the direction towards right as positive so in horizontal direction only 640 newton is acting forwards and 250 newtons is also acting forwards so this forward direction is correct that is positive 400 newton then since we need to find the resultant force that is hypotenuse of this horizontal and vertical component of force so resultant force would be root over vertical component plus horizontal component square so we calculate the value of resultant force that is 500 newton now we need to find the angle the resultant force makes with the x-axis that is this x-axis since this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis so the resultant makes with the x-axis that means we need to find this angle so we know the horizontal component of force we know the vertical component of horizontal component force and the vertical component of force so tan theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse that is opposite is vertical component by horizontal component so we find the value of theta is 36.87 and collect it to 36.9 collect to three significant figures so in this question the lesson question number five if you face difficulties to read this question please zoom it so p and q are two fixed points on the line of the greatest slope of the inclined plane 
so p and q are two fixed points on the line of the greatest slope of the inclined plane q is at a height of 0.45 meter above p so q is vertically for 0.45 meter above p and a particle of 0.3 kg moves upwards along line pq so given the mass of the particle and is moving up the line pq so given the mass so we can find the weight that is acting vertically downwards and for this weight we need to find the horizontal and the vertical component of the weight that is the force now in the question given that the plane is smooth that means there is no effect of friction that is mu r and the particle just reaches q that is at 0.45 meter above level p find the speed at which the particle passes p so we need to find the speed at p that means we know that the kinetic energy at p is equal to the gravitational potential energy at q since no work is done against resistance so kinetic energy at p is equal to gravitational potential energy at q so mass into gravitational resistance is equal to half mv square so mass cancels each other out and v square is equal to 2 gh so we calculate the value of v that is 3 meter per second then it is given that the plane is rough that means there is an effect of friction that is mu r and the particle passes p so the particle passes p with the same speed as we found in part 1 so the particle passes speed p with a speed of 3 meter per second then it just reaches point r so r that is between p and q so r is a point that is between p and q but we don't know specifically that where r lies the work done against frictional force from p to r is given we have given the work done by against frictional force so we have given the work done against frictional force that is 0.39 find the potential energy gained by the particle in moving from p to r so for this we need to find the potential energy at point r from point p that is this potential energy from r to p so to find this potential energy we know that the potential energy at r plus work done against resistance is equal to kinetic energy at p and for this kinetic energy at p so that is kinetic energy at p that is at the initial point so we take p as the initial point and we need to find the gravitational potential energy at r that means ep and we know that the kinetic energy at p that is ek so kinetic energy at p that is the total kinetic energy at p is equal to gravitational potential energy at r plus work done against friction so gravitational potential energy plus work done against friction since work done against friction is 0. Point, work done against friction is 0.39 joules so we know that the kinetic energy at p we know its value we need to find the gravitational potential energy and we know that the work done against friction so the gravitational potential energy comes to 0.96 joules since we know the gravitational potential energy now we know, need to find the height of r above level p so the height of r comes to that is mass into gravitational field strength to height since we know the gravitational potential energy so gravitational potential energy is equal to mass into gravitational field strength to height so the height comes to 0.32 meter above level p number 6 particle a and b are of mass 0.2 kg and 0.45 kg so given the mass of a that is 0.2 kg there is 0.2 g of weight acting downwards and for b 0.45 g acting downwards respectively are connected by light in extensible string of length 2.8 meter that is we have given the length of this string that a and b are connected the string passes over a smooth pulley that means there is no effect of friction in this pulley at the edge of the rough horizontal surface the surface is rough that means there is an effect of friction that is mu r which is 2.2 meter that is the length of the table at a to the ground is 2 meter the particle a is held in contact with the surface at a distance of 2.1 meter from the pulley and particle b hangs freely as seen so the distance of a from the pulley is 2.1 meter that means the length of the string where hey a hangs is 2.1 meter and so since since we know the total length of the string is 2.8 meter and this length is 2.1 meter if we subtract this we get 0.7 meter that is the length of this string where b hangs from the pulley 
the coefficient of friction between a and the surface is 0 0.3 that is the value of mu is 0 0.3 the particle a is released and the system begins to move so particle a is released and system begins to move find the acceleration of the particle and show that the speed of b immediately before it hits the floor is this so the particles are moving in this in a manner such that b moves down and a is moving forward so we need to find the acceleration the value of acceleration to find the value of acceleration we know that the forward force minus backward force is equal to mass into acceleration so forward force over a is t that is the tension so tension force minus backward force that is the frictional force that is mu r is acting backwards on a so tension minus backwards mu r is equal to mass into acceleration the mass of a is 0 0.2 into acceleration and for b that as b is moving downwards so its forward force is 0 0.45 g minus t that is the tension since b is moving downwards so 0 0.45 g is acting downwards while t is acting upwards so we have to place a minus t that is resisting its motion so forward force minus backward force is equal to mass into acceleration so that value we get an equation for t that is the second expression and we know the first expression so we equate both t since they are the same tension and equating this value we get an acceleration that is 6 meter per second square then the second part of the question show that the speed of b immediately just before it hits the floor is 3.95 3.95 meter per second so we need to show that the speed of b immediately before it reaches the ground is 3.95 meter per second to show this speed we know that initially it was at rest so the value of u is 0 and the acceleration we know the value of acceleration and this distance that is the value of h comes to since this height that is the length of this string is 0 0.7 and this total length is 2 so 2 minus 0 0.7 comes to 1.3 that is the distance of b from the ground is 1.3 so the height is 1.3 so v square is minus u square is equal to 2s we know the value of a that is 6 the distance that is 1.3 and the value of u that is 0 so v comes to 3.95 meter per second and we have shown that the value of v is same as this correct to three significant figures then for the next part of the question given that b remains on the floor so b remains on the floor find the speed with which a reaches the pulley so we need to find the speed with which a reaches the pulley so initially when b reaches the floor b has the speed of 3.95 meter per second so when b reaches the floor it has a speed of 3.95 meter per second and at this instant a is suppose at this point it has a speed of 3.95 meter per second so to find the final speed at the pulley we know that v square minus u square is equal to 2s and we know the value of initial speed that is given and at the instant when it has a speed of 3.95 meter per second that means when b reaches the ground it has a speed of 3.95 meter per second so a also has this speed and when b reaches the ground it covers a total distance of 1.3 meter that means when a and b are connected a also covers a distance of 1.3 meter and since we know that the total distance is 2.1 meter and it already covers 1.3 meter that means now it had to cover 2.1 meter minus 1.3 meter that comes around 0 0.8 meter that a have to travel further after b reaches the ground so it have to travel 0 0.8 or 2.1 minus 1.3 meter further and we know the distance and we know the initial speed but we need to find the acceleration to find the value of v at which a hits the pulley to, to, to find the value of acceleration we know that as b reaches the ground that means there is no tension force acting on a since the tension on the string becomes zero since the string becomes slag as b reaches the ground and now the only force acting on a is the resistive force that is acting backwards so minus resistive force that is negative 0 0.3 that is the value of mu and 0 0.2 that is the value of mass into g that is the resistive force is 
negative 0.06 g that is acting backwards is equal to mass into acceleration and since backward force only act active so the acceleration value comes to be negative so the acceleration is negative 3 meter per second square so we know the value of u a and s so we can find the velocity at the point when a reaches the pulley that is 3.29 meter per second calculate this by using work energy relationship that is we know that when b reaches the ground it covers a distance that is 1.3 so a is suppose at this point that is 1.3 meter and a have to travel a further 2.1 minus 1.3 so we know that this distance value and we know that the frictional force so what done by frictional force it be force into distance that is mu r into d so this is value then we know the work done by frictional force now we also know that the kinetic energy at this point since we know that the speed at this point that is 3.95 meter per second so since this kinetic energy is equal to work done by frictional force work done by frictional force that is 0.48 plus final kinetic energy so work done by frictional force plus final kinetic energy and we don't know the final velocity so we refer as v then we find the final velocity that is 3.29 so work done by frictional force and the kinetic energy at this point is equal to the kinetic energy at this point plus work done by friction since there is some work done against friction so total kinetic energy that at point when b reaches the floor is this value and the kinetic energy when it reaches the pulley is this and work done by friction is 0.48 then the velocity comes to 3.29 meter per second number seven a vehicle is moving in a straight line with the velocity v meter per second at t seconds after the vehicle starts given by that is the velocity of the same vehicle from time t is equal to 0 to 15 is given by this expression and from time t greater than 15 is given by this expression where a and b are constants the distance traveled by traveled by the vehicle from time t is equal to 0 to time t is equal to 15 is to 25 meter that is between these times the distance covered is to 25 meter we need to find the value of a and have to show the value of b that is 3375 to show this first of all since we know that the value of time limits so we can integrate this velocity since integrating velocity we get an expression for displacement and since this displacement is positive so displacement is equal to distance we equate this to find the value of a so we have to integrate this velocity with limits to 15 and 0 to find an expression for velocity and then to find an expression for displacement integrating velocity we find an expression for displacement in terms of a then since displacement is positive so displacement is equal to distance that is 225 meter that is given so we equate this to find the value of a that is 4 since we know that the value of a and the value of t so we substitute these two values in the expression for velocity to find the velocity at time t is equal to 15 and since we know that at time t is equal to 15 the velocity at this instant is equal to the velocity at this instant at time t is equal to 15 since they are the velocity from the same object so at the same time they would have the same velocity so at we have found the velocity at this point from the value of a and the value of t since we know that the value of velocity and we know that the value of time so we place these two values to find the value of b that is 3375 then we have to find an expression in terms of t for the total distance traveled by the vehicle when time t is equal to 15 time t is greater than 15 so this expression that is v is equal to b by t square for this expression when we integrate velocity we can find the displacement or the distance so we can first find the distance and in range of as the time value is greater than 15 and so the lower limit would be 15 and since we don't know the higher limit that means the upper limit so we consider the upper limit as t and we know the value of b so we integrate velocity in terms of t to find an expression for displacement or distance in terms of t then after finding this expression in terms of t for the distance we know that the initial distance from time t is equal to 0 to time t is equal to 15 is 225 and the final distance from time t is equal to 15 to time t is equal to t and we know that the we don't know the value of t t is suppose an infinity time so for this time we have a total distance that is 450 minus 
थ्री थ्री सेवन फाइव बाई टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी देन फाइंड द स्पीड ऑफ द व्हीकल वेन इट एज ट्रेवल ए टोटल डिस्टेंस ऑफ थ्री वन फाइव मीटर सो वी नो दैट दिस इज द टोटल डिस्टेंस दैट इज डी टोटल सो वी नो दैट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर डी टोटल दैट इज द डिस्टेंस टोटल सो वी इक्वेट दिस टू द टोटल डिस्टेंस टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टी दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड्स एंड वेन द वैल्यू ऑफ टी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड्स वेन द वैल्यू ऑफ टी दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड्स वी नीड टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस we need to find the velocity since we need to find this speed so at time t is equal to 25 we need to find the speed so speed is equal to total distance total distance by total time and since we know that the total distance is 315 meter but this total distance is the sum of the distance 1 plus sum of the distance 2 that is these two expressions and for the time that is 25 second that is the value of t that is greater than or equal to 15 this fills the value so for the time that is greater than 15 that is 25 so this fills the range of this second expression that is for time t is equal to greater than or equal to 15 for the value of t that is greater than or equal to 15 that is we have to take a value of time that is greater than 15 that is 25 and for time greater than 15 that is 25 seconds that means we have to use this expression and for this expression the equation is v is equal to b by t square that is the value of b is 3375 by t square and we know that the value of t that is 25 seconds so we calculate the velocity that is 5.4 meter per second again let me explain this again we have given the total distance we know that from the expression the total distance is 315 meter and we know that the equation for total distance is this equation so we equate total distance equation to the value of total distance that is 315 to calculate the value of time and since the time is 25 that is greater than 15 so to calculate the velocity we have to use the second expression since the time is greater than 15 that means the value of time fits this range so we have to use the second expression to find the velocity and we know that the expression for velocity is b by t square that is the value of b is 3675 by t square and since t is 25 so we use the second expression not the first expression to find the velocity that is 5.4 meter per second that is our final answer